Let's take a look at a uh, Zener diode protection for a MOSFET. So I have an IRL-Z44, and this is a logic level MOSFET, okay? And uh, I'm going to try to run it with 12 volts, okay, on the gate. Now, uh, you can buy a, a Zener that will work uh, up to 12 volts, up to 20 volts or so, but uh, this one is, is not good for that. In fact, the gate source voltage, the VGS, is uh, 10 volts, plus or minus 10 volts. So if I exceed the 10 volts, I could uh, I could ruin the the, uh, the unit there. So here it is. Here this is on the on the data sheet here. Gate source voltage, VGS, it's 10 volts. So I don't want to exceed 10 volts. So and then a couple other specs here. We'll take a look at this uh, the spreadsheet here. We have our uh, gate source threshold voltage. Okay, VGS TH. Okay, now. This region here between 1 volt and 2 volt, you don't want to run the unit between there. If you want to turn it off, you want to have below 1 volt on there. If you leave a volt on there, you're going to have some resistance between the, the source and the drain. And uh, at, same with 2 volts. You don't want to run it below 2 volts. So we want to, uh, to turn it on. We've got to be above 2 volts. To turn it off, we have to be below 1 volt. Okay. So in this region, we don't, we don't want to keep anything in that region. Now, the drain source on resistance at 4 volts we're going to have 0 0.039 ohms from drain to source, okay? But if we bring it up to 5 volts, we're only going to have 0 0.028 ohms between the, the drain and the source. So uh, I'm going to run it at 5 volts. In fact, I'm going to push it a little bit higher than 5. You know, we could go up to 10, but uh, I'm going to go a little higher than 5 to keep our resistance down there. And one other thing we have to look at is the input capacitance, the CISS. And for this particular one, it's uh, 3,300 uh, picofarad. So now we got the parameters there. I'm putting 12 volts in. I need to knock that 12 volts down. So I'm going to put in a uh, 5.6 volt zener and I'm going to run the gate at a little bit higher than 5 volts, 5.6 volts. Okay. Now on these zeners here, uh, if you look at the spreadsheet there, here it is here. This is 5.6 and this one you need 20 milliamps. This ITZ is 20 milliamps, okay? And if you're running 20 milliamps through the Zener, you're guaranteed to get your uh, 5.6 volts across it, okay? So in order to find this R1 resistor, we just take the input voltage. For me, it's going to be 12 volts. And the Zener value is 5.6 volts. And we divide it by this ITZ, which is our current uh, off the data sheet. And that's 20 milliamps. So I think it came out to like uh, 350 ohms or so on here. And so we're going to have that resistor there, and that's going to guarantee us our 5.6 volts across the Zener. One more thing it's going to do for us, it's going to limit the inrush current into the, uh, to the MOSFET here. I said we had this capacitance across here, this 3,300 uh, 3, picofarad, and when it's not charged up and you put uh, voltage to it, it acts like a dead short for uh, until that gets charged up. So for me, with my 12 volt input, it doesn't really matter. But if you're going to hook it to a, a, a microprocessor that has, uh, you know, maybe 5 volts or 3 volts on there, you might get an inrush current that it exceeds the, uh, the output of the microprocessor. So you want to put an inrush uh, resistor in there anyway, and this is going to do two things. It's going to limit the inrush current, and it's going to give me my 20 milliamps across my uh, Zener diode here, okay? Now this R2, we, we've charged up this capacitor. And if we just turn this off, the 12 volts off, this unit's going to stay on because this capacitance is still charged here until that dissipates. So by putting this 12K here, we're going to, it's a pull down resistor, the gate pull down resistor. We're going to bleed off that capacitance off that gate and it's going to shut down. Okay. Now, if this resistance is too high and this is, is uh, you know, uh, too low here, uh, you can uh, affect the speed, uh, the switching speed of the, uh, of the MOSFET, but in this case, uh, it's going to be fine. You know? Now, uh, that's how it's going to work. Oh, and I have a 12 volt uh, input here. I have my uh, 12 volt lamp here, and so we're going to we're going to try it, and uh, I'm going to put 12 volts in and see if uh, see if it actually works. So, here we are here. Can you see? It? There we go. Let's put this to uh, current. Turn this one on, this one on, 
and we're going to put this one on uh, temperature so we'll put it on centigrade I don't know if we can see all those all right and then we're going to turn on my 12 volts over here i'm putting 12 volts into it and uh, right now i don't have anything on here but if i put the switch on my light comes on I've got my 20 milliamps here, 19.7. I've got uh, my six. Whoop, I got my six point uh, five point six volts coming into my uh, zener there, and I've got my 12 volts across the output, and then I have my uh, my current here is uh, my temperature is at uh, 33 uh, degrees centigrade. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up turn. To, the resistance or the voltage down on here and uh, maybe I can hold this down at the same time so you can see it going down 10 10 ohms uh, 9 volts okay my current's dropping off so when I get below my uh, 5.6 volts the zener is not going to be in in the circuit anymore okay so there we go I'm not in there anymore and uh, so now I'm going to bring the voltage down to my below the uh, the two volts here so that's at uh, 2.5 oh, uh, 2.5 the um, the lamp is just barely lit there and you can see that the resistance is way down on between the, the drain and the source now so my current my this is my temperature it's at uh, 66, uh, uh, 70 degrees centigrade, okay? So this is the region where we don't want to run this thing in because look, I'm at 80 degrees centigrade right now and I'm going to burn this thing up here fairly soon at uh, 2.4 volts. So we want to make sure that we have less than, uh, you know, more than 2.4 uh, volts on here to, uh, I got 100 degrees centigrade already. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that go. And uh, so we, this uh, threshold voltage is very important. It, uh, on the spec sheet it said 1 to 2 volts, but even at, at 2.4 volts, uh, the, uh, the resistance goes way down and the, uh, the temperature goes way up, you know, still at 80 degrees centigrade. So uh, that's, that's it. This is going to work fine. I'm, I'm going to get my uh, uh, 12 volts in there, and I can go from anywhere from 12 volts down to, say, about 3 volts, and it's going to work. But uh, I don't want to be below my 2.4 four volts and to turn it off I want to get down below one volt otherwise the uh, the unit's going to get uh, too hot and burn up anyway that's uh, uh, protection for my uh, my uh, logic level zener or my logic level uh, MOSFET anyway thank you